before I get started, I'll put on some, some of these gloves in a bottle, which is wonderful stuff. Keeps my hands safe from any chemical that might be going on. I'm going to do a little bit of, have you noticed, by the way, that almost, almost the entire time that I've been doing this painting, I've paid virtually no attention to what an artist calls local color. Now, I don't know why artists come up with these weird terms, but <laughs> they, they do. Local color means real color. Like over here, I have a, a little tote bag, a water tote, and it is red. If I were an artist and I were painting the top of this table, I would paint this with a local color, which is red. Does that make sense? I'm doing a smiley face, a sm traditional smiley face is yellow. That's called, that's what we call realistic or local color. I won't, have you noticed that I've paid almost no attention, really until I did that green roof and these green bushes, I, I was paying almost no attention to what color things were in my scene. That, please take the hint, please, please take the hint. I remember when I was in about sixth grade, 12 years old, I, I had the distinct advantage of having a father who was a very good artist. And uh, I remember one of my first oil paintings, age 12, and I painted the grass green, the trees green, sky blue, what else? The lake blue. <laughs> and my father was very gentle. <laughs> and he said, now Danny, I think it was Danny back then, you know, the grass is not really green. The trees are not really green. The sky is not really blue, etc. And uh, he, he managed to do it gently enough that I didn't feel crushed. I felt a little bit embarrassed because as soon as he said it, I, I, it's like reality. I went, you're right. I've never made that mistake again. And uh, some of you, if you're not experienced artists, you need to uh, replace the icons of your childhood. Oh boy, how, how far do I want to get into this theme, into this subject? I want to get into it this far. Hang in there with me just for a minute. Uh, as, uh, how our brain develops. As we come into the world and, and begin to make sense of the overwhelming visual stimulus which, with which we are confronted as infants, very early in our development, we begin to create symbols and icons of our experience so that we don't have to reinterpret every single thing that we see. We don't have to reinterpret it from scratch. We'd be way too busy. No, our brain does something like uh, we're, we're walking down the street and we see a light post and our brain goes, light post. And uh, an, uh, an icon, a symbol, a very, uh, uh, like a logo, a very simple iconographic representation of light post flashes in our brain. And we know light posts are not things you walk into. They will hurt, so you walk around the light post, but you don't have to walk up to and go, wow, what is it? Tall, thin, shape, da, 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 and analyze the light post. No, we just do it instantly. When you talk to, a, when you talk to an elementary school child and you say to them, little Billy, <laughs> can you draw a squirrel? If Billy tries to draw a squirrel, what he will be drawing will be an iconographic simplification. That is a, a very stylized uh, symbol out of his brain of what a squirrel looks like. Now, in all likelihood, little Billy, unless he's really a little burgeoning artist, he will not have an icon for a squirrel. So his squirrel won't look much like a squirrel at, at all to us. Um, however, let me use something a little more common. If you say to Billy, Billy, will you draw for us a tree? Little Billy will say, sure, I can draw a tree. Let me draw on the back of this. And what will little Billy draw? Especially if he has colored markers, here's what he'll draw, depending on his age. That's supposed to be brown. Okay, there's Billy's tree. What did he just draw for us? He drew the iconographic symbol in his developing brain of what is a tree. You recognize that, don't you? And that's many of you, if you are not trained as artists, 
you still have, unless, you, unless you've consciously trained this out, this is still what is in your mind. And uh, if you were going to paint the scene, you would say, well, the bus is red, so you grab your red paint, and instead of painting what you see, you draw the iconographic symbol for double liquor bus, <laughs> which, is sim which is red. And, and you begin with the wrong color. We begin with local color, and your paintings are, you wonder why yours doesn't look like a master artist. And that's part of the reason why. The master artist knows when to kick the iconographic symbols out of his brain and replace them with powers of observation. Okay, Whew. boy, that was a long way around, wasn't it? To talk about why I haven't been using local color.